Hello and welcome to today's modding tutorial for Bug Snacks. Today I'm going to be showing you how to upload your mods to Nexus Mods so they can be downloaded by players either manually or using Vortex. So the first thing we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make sure that we have everything we'll need when we're uploading our mods. So a good thing to check is make sure you've got some screenshots. You don't need screenshots but they're always very good to have so people can get a look at your mod and also make sure you've got the level files there for your mod or whatever files you'll be uploading. So I've also got a description there to copy and paste in later to speed up the video. So we'll just check our zip files. We'll make sure we've got all the content there. So it should be structured the same as the game files for the actual game. So if I take a look at the game files, we can see inside the zip is content, content there as well. And inside our content folder in the zip is levels and then inside levels are our level files. So all of that's good, ready to upload, will work perfectly fine when someone downloads it. And what we're going to want to do next is go to the Nexus Mods website. For context, my mod, what I want it to do is open up a few new areas when they download it. So that's what we're going to expect to see when I upload this mod. And what we're going to do is go to the Bug Snacks page on Nexus Mods. So I'll type in nexusmods.com and then Bug Snacks. And what we'll see is we're taken to the Nexus Mods page for Bug Snacks. Now we can see we're taken to the, the Bug Snacks page on Nexus Mods and we're going to click this Upload button here and then Upload a Mod. And we're taken to the page where we start putting in our information. So the first thing we decide, are we uploading a mod or a translation? We're uploading a mod, so we'll leave it like that. Then we're going to choose a category for our file. And now looking at these, there's not many there. As more mods are uploaded, more will appear. Uh, we're going to click miscellaneous as that best fits the description. And you can suggest some categories there if you want to. So if you don't feel like something fits your mod, select one there that most closely fits it and then recommend a new one. And over time, you'll be able to choose that for your mod. So we're going to be putting in our mod name. So open hidden areas because that's what our mod will be doing. Mod language will leave like that because it's not very relevant. And then version 1.0 because it's the first version of our mod. Author name or team name. So St. Baron as that's what I go by. And a brief overview. A mod that will open up hidden areas in Snaptooth. Um, oh, let's spell it right. Okie dokie. So I'm going to open my description here that I wrote earlier. And I'm just going to copy and paste that in. So this description basically contains some information about the mod, a link to my Patreon, and then also uh, just a thing saying if there's any problems or questions, feel free to message me. So this is this page that's done. If you have any other kind of requirements for your mod, so it checks a few content things here like nudity, violence, gore. It's bug snacks, so it's not super likely that's going to be in it. But if there is, make sure that you tick these boxes. And then a few other things here. So if your mod is a character preset or a translation file or save game or anything like that. So we don't need to tick any of these. It's not relevant to us. And then we're going to click next. And then we're going to start putting some of the images on. So our header image. We'll just drag and drop that on there and we'll just resize this a bit so it looks looks good then upload cropped image i recommend putting these as jpegs first so they upload a bit more quickly uh, you won't really notice a difference in quality so that's done and then let's drop these five images in there and then you'll get the option to decide which one is the banner image you see when you look at the mod on the Nexus Mods website. It will have a golden star next to it. Um, so we'll take a look in a second when these are finished uploading. Okie dokie. So now what we have, we have all of our images uploaded. And this is the one that has the golden star next to it. And this is the one that people will see first and will see as the image that represents the mod. Uh, if you wanted any other one of these images, just click the golden star there and it will change that to be the main image. So what we're going to do now is we're going to, if you want to add any videos, you can. I won't be adding any, but I'm going to be skipping to the next page now. And we don't have a readme for this mod. Uh, we could just drag and drop the description if we wanted to, but there's not much point. It's already there. And we're going to add to our change log that this is the initial release. So just put that in there. And then we're going to click for the next page. So this page is about permissions and credits. So do you have permissions to use the files you're uploading? Do you want any credits that you're going to put in? Are you can say someone's helped you with something or anything like that. And what permissions do people have to use your mod? Generally, the default is the best one to go for. So I'm going to leave it like that. 
and then I'm going to scroll down to the bottom and just add in some credits here. So I'm going to add uh, young horses for the level files. Because without their level files and mod and content and stuff, I wouldn't have been able to make this mod. So we'll just put that in there. So now you'll get to choose whether you want to accept donations for your mod. I'm going to say yes. And then I'm going to tick the yes box. And then I'm going to tick these three boxes here. I'm going to click next. And then requirements and mirrors. If you have any requirements for your mod and they rely on other mods being used, you can add them in here and search for another Nexus Mods mod. Uh, I don't have anything. Uh, if you have any mirrors as well, you can add them in there. This isn't really relevant to me. Or if you have anything, just put it in. But I'm going to skip to the next page. And then this is where we'd start putting in our stuff about our actual files that we're going to be uploading. So I'm going to call it SB underscore open levels. This is just the name of the zip that will be downloaded. Then 1.0. I'm going to hit this box. And then just leave that the same. And then file description. I'm going to leave blank because it doesn't matter. And then I'm going to click set. This is the main vortex file. I'm going to drag and drop this zip onto there. And then if we click next, we should be taken to an article page. Uh, if you want to add any articles or information there, you can. I personally won't be adding anything. I'm going to click next again. And then we choose whether we want to publish our mod. So you can leave it like this if you want to go and do more stuff and find more things or update your mod before. Mine's personally ready to upload. So I'm just going to click I'm ready, publish my mod. And as we can see, now we have this mod that is up there now. I can link this to people. It may take about one to five minutes for it to really kick in and be ready to link. But generally, it's pretty quick. And this is it. This is your mod. It's ready to upload. And now what we can do is we can just say we're finished with this. It's done. Uh, we are finished with the mod. Uh, it's ready to go. And uh, yeah, that's everything. Uh, thanks for watching.